Welcome to Kaiju Mathematics. Today, I have a special treat. I'm going to be doing 60 straight minutes of Kelpidoku puzzles. And I am doing all the puzzles out of this book here. All of my puzzles will be pulled straight from this book. You buy this off of Amazon. Really great book. Been working a lot out of that. I have not done any of these puzzles that I'm going to solve here today. And the way I have this structured is I have an easy, medium, hard, easy, medium, hard, just to change it up each scenario because sometimes the book structure dip, certain difficulties have certain patterns that it might take on so try to mix it up make them different uh, and then I put a lot on here just in case I get stuck on a puzzle and I don't want to sit here for 15-20 minutes just staring at it because sometimes that happens when you're doing these kind of puzzles you're just staring and staring and staring without finding the solution so I don't want that to happen and then for time wise I was going to put a timer on the screen but I uh, didn't want to do that because uh, that's just more stressful. I'm trying to set my timer here. Uh, more stressful, just staring at a ticking clock for 60 straight minutes. So I'm just going to use my phone here. So I got it set for one hour. And I'm going to start now. So here we go. One hour of Kokudoku. Let's do this. I'm going to try to talk through it as much as possible, but sometimes I might just see some numbers and just start going with it. So right now, what's jumping out to me is this row. I want to put a five. And five is easy to put because I can't put five here, can't put five here because it's division, and so the five is gonna have to go here. This could be five minus four or six minus five. Uh, so at first glance, not seeing anything that's jumping out to me as any sort of lock. Six, five, four, three, and two I need to go in these two columns. This could be three divided by one. Which I can do. This could be two divided by six, or six divided by two. Excuse me. Get three. This could be two and one, or two and four. All right. So I can't put the three and two just yet. That's fine. This could be six and one, or three and two. But this has to be six and one. So this cannot be six and one. So this has to be three and two. Three is in this column. So this has to be 3, this has to be 2. Let me see if I could just finish off this column here. 6, can't put a 5 here, so this is 5. Um, 5 minus 1 is 4. I want to be careful with these types of scenarios. You're trying to get to 4, because sometimes you think of a certain number, like 5 minus 1 is 4, but then there's other sort of combinations uh, where, like 2, for example, that could be 1, like 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 3 is 2. So there, there's multiple combinations for some of these. So you don't want to just immediately think of a combination and then write it down. You want to make sure you're accounting for everything. So this is this has to be 5 and 1. Yeah. So 5 and 1. This has to be 6 and 4 in these two squares. This can't have 5 and 5. So this has to be 6 and 4. That's kind of nice. Getting distracted. I'm just, I'm just trying to work this way. Let me try to finish off this column. 6, 5, 4, 3, and this has to be 2. What divided by 2 gets us 3? 6 divided by 2 gets us 3. So this has to be 4. This is going to be 6, because 6 is blocking out that. 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Uh, this cannot be 2, because this has to be a 7, and 7 does not exist in this world. So we are going to put 2 here, and that means this is 3, this is 6, and this is going to be 4. 6, 5, 4, and 2. 2 cannot go here. So this has to be the 2. This is going to be 4. This is what I was talking about earlier. 4 minus 3 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. I can't do 5, so this has to be 3. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is going to be 7. And, um, uh, no. So the door's kind of open there, I think. Let me try it. Actually, I can just finish off this column. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So four plus one is five, plus three is eight. And then that means this is going to be six. Six minus five is one. Things just falling into place here. Pretty nice. This is going to be 1 and 6, because I saw the 6 here. So I need a 5 and a 1 in this row. Not seeing anything that's going to lock it in. 
six, five, four, and one. Four can't go here, so this is going to be four. Four divided by two is two. Three divided by one is three. Well, that's a five, one, plus one, so that's going to be five. Six. This is going to be five, right? Five, four, three, two, one. So this has to be two. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Not a bad start. All right, next, let's see what we can do here. So jumping out to me is, this is six and one or three and two, so that's actually not gonna help. This has to be four and one. We'll put that down, four and one. So can't have two and two. This has to be five and four. Four. Uh, let's see what else. Can I grab anything else? Six and two, four and three, five, two, six, one. This has to be six and four here. So since this is six and four. This has to be five and two. Five is in this column, so this is gonna be five, or this is gonna be two, this is gonna be five. All right, yeah. So six, five, four, three, two, this is gonna be one. So this has to be five and three here. Um, okay, nice. So this cannot be six and three. This three is going here for sure, so this has to be six and two. But the six has to go in one of these two squares. So this is gonna be six and two, six and two, which makes this four and one. Four is in this column, so this is gonna be one, this is gonna be four. Alright, so oh, I could also this one here. Budge this loose. So since this is four, this is gonna be six and two for sure. Six. So one, two, three, and five. I mean, this could still be five, I think. Nothing over there. Just not feeling too comfortable with that just yet. So I'm going to move on, try something else. So I'm not like stuck just yet, but I'm starting to approach the opening sequence ending here where I'm going to have to try to really hone in on some sort of pattern. Um, so I have here one, two, I need a three and a six for these two spots. This could be six and two. This could be six and three. Oh wait, it can't be six and three. Because three is in this column. So this cannot be six. That means this has to be six. Let me think about that for a second. This is six. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Yeah, so this has to be 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that means this is 3, and this is 6. Oof. It's a bit of a tough sequence there. So this will be 5 and 4, which makes this 4, and this is 5. Uh, then I have to put a 5 in this row. 5 is nice because there's a lot of division, and usually if it's... Division, 5 is not going to go there most of the time, unless it's something dividing and the result being 5. Uh, so this is going to be 5 here. Which could be 5 and 4, 6 and 5. Nothing to lock in there. So this has to be 2, right? Yep, this has to be 2. 2 is another situation where you want to think about it for an extra second, because this could be 2 and 1, or 4 and 2. Which, I don't have a 1 or 4, so I don't know what that's going to be just yet. All right, nice. So this has to be five and one here. Five and one, five and one. Okay. All right, so I'm, now, I'm starting to get to the part of the puzzle where I need to 
hone in on something. Oh. Five, so this has to be a three, this has to be a five. Not like it helps me out a whole bunch, but it's not like I'm stuck. So, actually it's going to help me, because now I know this is going to be three and two. Well, I already knew that, because this is one, so this is going to be three and two for sure. And now that I'm on this column, this is four, so this is going to be six, this is going to be four. Not liking this situation right here. Not liking this at all. Alright. This is 5. This is 4. So 5 minus 4 is 1. Can't do that. So this has to be 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. If that's 6, that's 2. That's 6. If this is 6, this is going to be 4 and 3. That's 4. That's 4. That's 3. That's 2. That's 3. And then five, four, one, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, two divided by one. Oh, six, two, six plus two is eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Okay, so hard. Let's see how hard it is. Five and one, five and one. So that's one of the rare instances where five is going to work there because it's divide and equal five. Um, so six and three have to go here. Six and three, six and three. So since this is six and three, this has to be five and two because six and one blocked, four and three blocked. So this has to be five and two. So I can actually get a number here, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Anything else? 5 and 2 going here. 5 and 2, 5 and 2. 5 and 2. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that I can try to lock in? I was about to say I could put a 5 here, but this could also be 5 for now. Alright, so I'm kind of at a moment of where do we go from here. So let's try to work this row. Um, no, I'm going to work this column. I think I might be able to get something here. So 5... And one are here. So this could be four and two. Yeah, because it can't be two and one. So this has to be four and two. Or it could be six and three also. Yeah, almost forgot about that. Six and three, four and two. Yeah, so nothing's there. This could be two and one, six and three. Let's try. So twenty-four can be. So twenty-four is kind of tough because it has a lot that works. Six and four, which is three times two, two times two. So there's kind of a lot of combinations that work here. So that's not something that I want to immediately try tackling. Let me see if I can get the six here in this column. Which I don't think I can. Five's already here. Four. Three. So all I know is three can't go here. Because that'd have to be five and three. Four can't go here. So that would be because that would be four and two. So that leaves me with. Not a lot of options, right? Four and two. No, it could be six and four. Six and four here, which I think it will. Yeah, it's not like anything I want to try to work in, though. All right. 
it. So I'm kind of hitting a roadblock here. So let's try... Um, oh, so fives can't go here. So times 12, times 12. So five has to be here. This can't be four, so it has to be six. This will be one, five. So this has to be three, six. So six, five, four, three, two. Cool. Oh, that was, it's nice to saw that little five there. The five trick always works. No fives can go here, so it has to go here. So this is two. Twelve's another annoying type of situation, especially when we have three squares to work with. So six is or uh, twelve is two times six. So this could be six and one, like a six here and a one, or uh, actually it has to be right. This is three times two. We already used the two. I can't use two again, so this has to be six and one. So that means this is a six, this is one. So I was going to say it could be two times three, but they have to be in the same column, so that's not going to work. Five can't go here, so this is for sure going to be five in one of these two squares here, but I don't think I can put it down yet. Let me see if I can keep this momentum going here. Six, five, four... Three, yeah, still a lot of open space here. Yeah, still a lot of open space over there. Um, what was I saying about this one? So this is five. Four can't go here. So this is for sure five and four. Actually, this is going to be interesting. So this is for sure five and four. So four cannot go here. And this can't be five. So this is for sure five and four. So five plus four is... Um, 9 plus 1 is 10, so this is going to have to be 3, because I know 5 and 4 are going to be here 100%. I just don't know which order though, so that's okay though, so at least I know this is 3. So then, this is going to be 4 and 2, so I can't put a 4 here, so this is going to be 4 and 2. Since this is 4 and 2, this is going to be 6. This is going to be 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. This is getting pretty messy. I think we're okay. Five can't go here. I'm looking at this row right now. Five can't go here. Five can't go here. Five can't go here. Uh, five can't go here, so five has to go here, right? Let me just double check that. No, 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 no. Yeah, so five, two, four, two, five, four. Okay, good find there. Let's see what else. Six, five, four, three, one. Yeah, this is, that's going to be... Not anything I want to deal with right away. So this needs six, three, one. Might have to start thinking here in a second. Um. So this could be five and five. If I can go here. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could just put the five somewhere. If I can go here, if I can go here, so this would be five. Oh man, this five is really getting in the way right now. So six, five, four, three, two, one. This left side of the puzzle, <laughs> this whole entire left side. This is the problem right now. So let me. I got. I gotta get one number. I think one number. Let me try to work in the columns. I don't think the rows are working right now. So let me try working column six, five, four. Okay. So boom. This can't be four. I think I already talked about that earlier. Or it could have been six minus four. Which can't. So this has to be four. I'm, for some reason, I'm just not feeling comfortable with that. So 4 can't go here. 4 minus 2 can't have 2. 6 minus 4 can't have 6. So this has to be 4. 
So this is four. This could be six and one, which it cannot be six and one, because six and one is here. So even if this was one, this had to be six. This was six, this had to be one, but it can't. So this is going to be three and two, which two cannot go here. So this is going to be two, this is going to be three. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four has to go here. So four cannot go here. Four. Three times four is twelve. Therefore, this is one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, three minus one is two. Yeah, well, it has to be three anyway, because that's five and two. And then this has to be six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, five and one is going to go here. Why is that still looking weird? Six and two. So this is six, two, five, two, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six plus five is 11. This one's 12. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Twelve is six and two, four and three, oh, five and two, five and four. So six, five, four, three, two and one, one can't go here, so this has to be one, and this has to be two. So that makes this four. Four times two is eight. Nice, let's start there. This has to be four and three, because it cannot be six and two, so this is four and three, four and three. This has to be four and three also, which a four can I go here? So this has to be four, three, three, four. Five can't go here, so five and three. Two, five. All right, nice start there. Six, five. Five can't go here, five can't go here, so this has to be five, and this is going to be four. Six, five. Uh, four and one. Four can't go here, so this has to be four. Four divided by two, uh, so this has to be one. Three divided by one is three. Five can't go there, so this is five. This is one. Six. Six, five, four, three, two, five times two. Six and three. Uh, knees in this row. Three is already here, so three. Six divided by three is two. And then this has to be six minus five. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's finish that. I think so. Next. Medium. Okay, let me change colors. Okay, try to look at this purple here. Let's see how we're doing on time. Yeah, not too bad. 90. Ooh, not liking that. I like a 90. This is going to be 6 and 3. It's going to be 5 and 1, which 1 can't go here, so it's going to be 5 and 1. This has to be 4 and 2, so this is going to be the 2 and the 4, because 2 is already here. So I have to have a 5 here. 6. Four, three, two, one. So five is going to go here for sure. 
All right, so 90. How do we deal with 90? So 90 is 9 times 10. 9 is 3 times 3. 10 is 5 times 2. I already have the 5. So these two squares are going to be 6 and 3. Yeah, 6 and 3 for sure. So this is going to be 6 and 3. Oh, 3 is already here. So this is going to be 6. This is going to be 3. That's pretty cool. Like that. Very helpful. This has to be 6 and 4. Six, five, four, four and 2. Yeah, I can't really put those down just yet. This is 6 with division resulting. So that has to be 6 and 1. Uh, so there's going to be 1. There's going to be 6. I already have a 1 there. And I already have 6 there. So two reasons there. 6. 5 has to go here. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is 5. This has to be a 4 because I already have a 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. 5 minus 4 is also 1. And it has to be the 4 because I already have a 6 there. 2 and 1 as well as left, so 1 and 2. Alright. Where can I go from here? There has to be something else I could just knock out. Uh, for this bottom row, 5 is going to be here. So 5 can't go here. So this has to be 5 and 4 in this bottom row part right here. 5 and 4, 5 and 4. Uh, because I already have a 6. So 6 minus 5 is 1. But I already have the 6 there. So this has to be 5 and 4. Which means this is going to be 2 and 1. 1 is already there. So this is 2, 2. So this is going to be 5 and 2. Five and three, excuse me. I was thinking six and two, but six can't go there. So this is going to be five and three. This can't have four, uh, four and four. So five and three. So five, three, because five is already in this row. And this means this is going to be four, and this is going to be five. Yep. And what else? What else? There's got to be more that I could just piece here. So the 6 in this column, 6 can't go here, 6 can't go here, 6, 6. So this has to be 6 for this column. So 6, 5, 4, 4, and 3. If this was 4, this would have to be a 5, which is possible. If this was 3, this would have to be a 6, which is not possible. So 3 has to go here, making this 4. Making this the 4 and 5. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 here, so this is 6. This is 4. This is 6. This is 3. This is 6. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Got everything. <clears throat> Not sure what number I'm on. I haven't been keeping track. But we're about halfway, maybe. So let's keep going. 30, 6, and 5. Uh, 6, 6, and 1. So this has to be a 5, this has to be a 6. 6, 5, this has to be 4. 3, 2, 1. I didn't even check to see if I could put something here. This is going to be 5 and 3. So if this is 5 and 3, 
this has to be six and two, which I have enough information to lock in a two here and a six because this is two in this row. So this has to be six and two like that. This has to be five and four. This puzzle is kind of like overwhelming how many just numbers I could just throw in here. Five and one, five and one. This has to be six and one, which I can't put a six. So six, one, five, one, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, and three, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. <laughs> that was a really nice opening sequence there. What else could I, could I, let's keep this momentum going. Is there something else I can just throw in here? Oh, um, so like right now that was a really fast opening. So now I need to probably go back to where I started. Oh, wait, <laughs> this is five and three. There's a five already here. So three and five. I don't know how I missed that one. That's all right. I, I just have so many different records I get to go right now. So I could put a five in this column because this is a division and that's gonna be five. So five plus four is nine. 15 minus nine is six. So this has to be a six. Six, five, four, three, and two need to go here. Let's see, can I eliminate any of them here? So if this is two, this would have to be a one, which I can't, or it could be a three, three minus two, which is possible, all right, nothing there. So what about a three, three, and two? Three and four, All right, nothing's really helping me there. So let's just keep going. Wait, I should be able to, six, five, four, three, this is a two and one. Shocking, All right, I could not nail something down there. All right, it's all right, this is gonna be, uh, I don't think I have enough yet there. Okay. So I'm hitting a little bit of a hitting some resistance here, which is okay. All right, gotta find something here. Something is sticking out, and I'm just not able to find it. Can I put a six somewhere here? So this could still be six and one. This could be, oh wait, this cannot be six and one. I was gonna say this could be six and one still, but that's this cannot, because if this is six, this has to be one, one's already here. So this has to be a six, because six is in this column. Can't, can't, so this has to be six, one. Not a huge help, but that eliminates this from being six and one. So this has to be three and two. Which, if this is three and two, this has to be a one, and this has to be a two, because three and two is going to be here. Three and two, three and two, which makes this four, which makes this three, because five minus four is one, but a five is already here. But so four minus three is one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Um, so this has to be six and four. Six is already here, so six, four. Six, five, four, what do I still need here in this column? Three and two. Yeah, three and two. So two can't go here, so this has to be a two. This has to be a three. That means this is three. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Still left in this. This has to be two, one. Let me check this Tetris-shaped figure here. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. Nice. Oh, wait. Puzzle's done. I didn't even realize. I thought I had some more still to go. 
six five four three two one. I just like to double check if I'm feeling a little unsure. Six five four three two one. Six five four three two one. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Easy. We'll see about that. Six and three. Six and three. Six and one. So six and one. I know this is six and three, so this has to be one six because six cannot go here. Uh, this could be six and one, six and one. Okay. So thirty. Two numbers that multiply to thirty, or three numbers really that multiply to thirty. Thirty is multiple like five goes into thirty. So five has to be in these three boxes. But I already have a five here, so this has to be five. So that means this could be six and one. Or um three and two. But you which it can't be six and one, actually. So six and one are here. So if this was six, this would have to be one. If this is one, this has to be six, but you can't do. So this has to be three and two. Right here. So that means this is going to be four and two, because I already have a five here. So this is four and two, for sure. This is going to be six and one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, six plus three. Okay. Pretty decent start there. Six, five. So four can still kind of go in a couple different spots. Three. Three can still go a couple different spots. Two and one. Okay, so I'm not getting much help. This was two. This would have to be eleven, which cannot happen. So this is this is going this is going deep. So let me think about that again. If this was two, this would have to be eleven, which is six and five. Five can't go here, five can't go. So this has to be two. Two cannot go in that spot. So if this is two, this is a three. So six, five. Oh wait, but two can still go here, right? Yeah. So two can't go here, but two, two can still go here. So I almost missed that. I almost messed that up. I didn't realize that two could still go here. Yeah, I'm not going to. I think it's going to work, though, but I don't want to commit to that just yet. But all I know is two can't go here. So since two can't go here, let me see if I could figure out what this is going to be then. Six, five, four. This is four. This would be nine. Yeah, it's still pretty open. Okay. I'm going to have to come back to that. Um, well, good thing I caught that. I almost I almost tried to take that all the way there. That theory. All right, that's fine. But... I do know where 5 is going to go. No, I don't. Never mind. This could be still be 5 and 1, I think. Yeah, I was going to say about this 6 here. The 6 is awkward. Alright, let me see. Some of these easy puzzles will really... Well, actually, 5. 5 can't go here, 5, 5, 5 can't go here, so this has to be a 5, which makes this 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So this has to be a 6, 3, uh, 1, 6. Uh, 1, 6. This is going to be 4 and 2. Cool. 
cool. That was a fun little sequence there. Let me see if I can continue that. Oh, five for this row. Five can't go here because of this five. Five can't go here because of this division. So this has to be a five. This has to be a four because six minus five is one, but I already have a six, so five minus four is one. And then I uh, should be able to do more. All right, I could figure out this probably. Six, five, four, three. So two and one are still left over, which one cannot go here. So this is one, this is two. Six minus three is three, so this has to be a three to make up the rest of it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then I have a seven here. So seven minus four is three. So this has to be two and one. Yeah, this has to be two and one. Uh, so this is gonna be one and two, which makes this three and two. That's why I hope I didn't mess this up. That's what I originally thought. I thought two was going here because of my theory here. But I caught that a four could still possibly went there, but it's not possible anymore based on what I have. Six, five, four, three, two, so six. And then this should fall into place. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let me just check that this uh, box here. Six plus four is 10, plus three is 13. Cool. Two, four, five, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, four divided by two. Yes. Two. I think I got this. Yes, I did. Let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, 18 minutes left. We change colors. All right, medium. Six and four. Five and one. Five and three, which I know five's not going to go here, so this has to be a three. This has to be a five. So that's be six and four again. Six and four again. Wow. Okay. I know some things are like going to, like I could probably figure these out, but I'm it's kind of at a point right now where I want to just write down the easy facts like right now. So six and four. So this is going to be three and two. So six, five, four, three, two. This has to be one. So this is going to be two. Two divided by one is two. There's got to be more that I can knock out here. Um, so this is kind of an interesting trick here. In this column, I need a one, and I know for sure one's not going to go here. So one and six have to go here, which makes this four, six, four, six. Nice. Can I do anything else? Don't think so. Oh, six and one over here. So we want to divide. So if this is six and one, this has to be a one. This is gonna be a six. This is gonna be four, six. This is gonna be Oh, this is another one. Same trick. I need a five in this column. Five can't go here. 
So this has to be five and two, which five is in this row. So five, two, which then makes this three and two. Nice, I like that. I like that little trick there. Okay. What else do we have? Six, five. So I need a four in this column. No four, no four, four has to go here. So this means this has to be three and one. One, three, because one's in this row. Five and two is left in this row. Uh, two is in this column, so five, five minus two is three. Uh, man, I would have thought more would have just fell into place there, but I guess not. It's all right, let's keep going. I don't like this. A lot of open space here. Not liking that once whatsoever. So this, all right, this has to be six and three. This has to be six and three. I don't have enough to place that? Really? Okay. No problem. This is going to be four and one. Because it can't be three and two because the two's already here. So this has to be four and one. So that means this is going to be four and this is going to be one. Because of that four, which means this is going to be five. This is going to be one. Which means this is going to be three. This is going to be five. Six, five, four, three, and two is what's left here. This has to be a two. This is going to be a three. Six, three, uh, one, six. Done. Just double check a couple boxes here. Six and four, six and four, three minus two. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Hard. This has to be six and five. This has to be three and two because I already have a four. I was going to say four and one, but we already have a four here. So this has to be three and two. Three and two, three and two. Um, so six, five, four, three, two, one. This could be six and two, four and three. This has to be four and one. So six and two, four and three. I'm not super into that yet. This has to be six and one because it can't be three and two. So this is gonna be six and one, which is six is in this column. So this is gonna be six, one. Uh, so this is gonna be five and three. I'm not liking this. So this could be six and two still, because six can go here and two can go here. It could still be very much three, four, and three. So I can't really eliminate anything just yet here. 36. That's not gonna be fun to deal with, I don't think. Let me just move away from that. Let me see if I can try to nail down some five somewhere. Uh, let's see, five. Okay, no, that's not helping actually. I was going to say five in this. Five can still go here. Uh, actually, this cannot be five. Because if it was five, these two boxes would have to add up to two, which the only way that's possible is one and one. So this cannot be five. Can't be five, can't be five. So this has to be five. This has to be three. My nice strategy there. So it's fives. Fives are always good to try to find. Fives are very useful. And then we're kind of like, where do we go from here? Uh, all right. I don't like this 12. I don't like this 36. I don't like this 12. Let me see if I can work this column a little bit more. Well, I could probably put a 5 somewhere. Actually, I can. So I need to put a 5 in this column. 5 can't go here. 5 can't go here. So 5 is going to be here. Think about this, though, for a second. 
5 minus 4 is 1, but a 4 is going here, so this has to be 6 and 5, which is 6 is in this row, so this is going to be 6, this is going to be 5. So if that's 6, 5, 4, this is going to be 3, 2, 1, which means this is 4, which means this is going to be 6 and 2, which there's a way now that we can get that. So 36 is 6 times 6, and I said this is going to be 6 and 2. So a 6 is gone, and a 2 is gone, so this is going to be 3. Because this has to be 6 and 2. 12 times 3 is 36. After this puzzle, I'll check how much time we got left. Um, all right. I was, I, was on, I was on a roll there, and I lost it. All right, five, 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 five. Fives are still pretty open in a lot of different spots. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm just I'm looking around here a lot. So let's try. Oh man, I don't even know where to my next attempt should even be. Let's just try this row. Just kind of looking at this. six five. Can we put a four anywhere? Four can go here. This could be four and two still. This could be four. Thirteen minus four is nine. So this could be six and three still. Ugh. You know, like a five and four combination. Yeah, that's not helping. I mean, I don't know if I have worked this combo recently. Six, five, four, three. Three can't go here. Two. So this is two. This would have to be. This would be five then. Four and one, which still could be. Wow, great. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It should, there's, this should be here. This should be here. I'm just, the numbers are starting to blur together. really don't want to have to try to sneak one in before this one, after this one, I mean. Like, I don't want to have to skip this one. I want to try to nail this one down and then try to get one more in, but uh, the numbers are starting to blur. Now, let me just go systematically now. Like, I'm... I'm Kind of looking all over the place a little bit too much. So six. Five can't go here. This would have to be five and three. Which is still possible. Five can't go here. Five. Oh, here we go. So a five can't go here. Five can't go here. Five can't go here because of the argument I made before. That this was five. This would have to be two, which we can't. So this has to be five. This is going to be three, two, three, six, five, four, and one. This cannot be one, because then this would be 12, which would only be six and six, so this has to be the one. This is going to be two, which makes this four, I think. Yeah, four. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So this is four, this is nine. Which I'm not going to even think about that for a second. Two, so this is six. Two. This can't be six. This could still be six. This cannot be six. Because this would be six and five. So this has to be six. Six plus four is ten. Three. 
five, six, five and one are still left over here, right? Five and one, so let's give it five. So five, this will be four, six minus five, I already have a six, five minus four is one. Six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four plus one is five, plus two is seven, plus six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, should fall into place now. This is four, one, four, six, five, four, three, two, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's it. Got it. We got 530 left. Just double check it. 530. All right, this, this is actually easy. I might be able to get two more in, maybe, if this is actually easy. Sometimes these easies are... A little bit tricky at times. So this is five and four, five and four. This has to be three and one, three and one. Oh my goodness, two sixteen. Really? Oh, it's all right. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's fine. I'm fine. We're fine. Okay. So six and five, I'm starting to feel the time crunch. So I'm starting to panic. So this is gonna be six and five. Five is gonna be here. So five, six, three, five. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I wanna deal with this 216. Oh, okay, all right. So there, there's still a lot I could figure out here. This is four and one. This is gonna be five and four. 20 is 5 times 4, and we can have 2 times 2. So this is going to be 5, 4, 1. 5, 5, 5, 4, and 1 are going here. So that means 6, 3, and 2 are still left over for these three squares. Can I just put something in without having to think? Not yet. All right, I'm, I'm not even going to think about this 216 just yet. I know what numbers are going to be here, so I could I could figure out the rest. Oh, I, I actually know what numbers are going to be here also. So this is going to be 6 and 1, which a 1 can't go here. So a 1 has to go here. 6 has to go here. All right, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting a little distracted by the 216. Let me just move on. How are we doing on time? Three minutes. Uh oh. So this could still be six and one, I think. Or three and two. I'm not super into that at all. Okay, let's see. So I still need to put a 632 here. Okay. 6 and 3 are not going here. So this has to be the 2. So 6 and 3 are going to go here and here. Which I don't see any like eliminations for that. Okay. So 6, 1, 2, 3, this could still be 4 and 2, 5 and 4, 5 and 3, this is going to be 2 and 1 here for sure, so if this is 2 and 1, that makes this 5 and 3, no. Yeah, because this could still be six and four here. I mean, I'm trying to fill in the time crunch. Six, five, four, three, two. So this can't be two here because this has to be a four. 
So this is gonna be two, this is gonna be one, six, five. Just need to put a one and a four. Four and two. Well, this can't be six and one, this has to be three and two. So this has to be a six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So this has to be a four. Six, five, four, three, two, one, four. We do it on time. 44 seconds. I could still finish this up, I hope. So this has to be six and two. This can't be four and three. Six, two, six, five, four, three and one, one, three. Three minus one is two. Two, three, one, three. Ah! Time's almost up. Six, three, four, one, six, five, two, four. Oh, that's all right. I'm super close to finishing this one. Ah, five, and then six, five. Four and six. There it is. Let me just double check a couple columns here. Six, five, four, three, two, two one. Yep. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So, yep, yeah, this is good. I was going through a little bit quick, trying to get out of time, but I th I'm going to give myself that one. See, I dealt with this one without even dealing with the 216. I did not touch that 216. I just figured it out outside of there. Cool, let's go through and count then. How many did I get done? Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Ten puzzles. Not too bad. Not too bad. In sixty minutes. Um, I, I don't think I really got too held up on any of them. I think some of them took me a little bit longer than I would have felt comfortable with. But other than that, like, they went pretty smooth for the most part. Uh, and the last, the very last puzzle here. Where'd it go? Here it is, 216. Yeah, I didn't want to even deal with that. And luckily I kind of was able to work the back half of that pretty quickly. So, it worked out. It was fun. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me on this 60-minute adventure of Kelkidokus. Hope you enjoyed it.